one of the challenges in the Mara is that we're so rich in wildlife that when it comes back and it comes in, in big numbers and we do get incidents of conflict and things. But we also see in other parts of the country, this provides an area, a way for us to have wildlife and cattle coexisting in the same place. And certainly with the BOMA scheme and with the systems that Inongishu and other conservancies have been, have been creating as part of this, is also to make sure that cows are herded, they, they, they're not overgrazing one area but moving around to create these mosaic habitats and to create better, better habitats for all this. But we also see as a result we're getting fatter cows coming out because they're not going to the same area where the grass is diminished all the time, they're moving around and that's getting better condition and it's helping their farmers to be able to generate more money. predators. <laughs> Jabokuwa tumewahi ripoti fisa nyingi vya wanyama kama lion wakiingia ndani ya hizo maboma. Na usipojipanga vizuri kwa hiyo maboma utapangwa vizuri. Yeah, so eh, kitu kingine tumeona <coughs> tangia tuingie hii kasi ya wanyama na ngombe. Mfugo, wanyama na watu pia. Imekuwa imesaidia Kwa mfano kiangalia sahi kote mwasaini kuna kiangasi. Na huku sisi ya tujawai pata kiangasi ya yote wala kulipoti kisa ya ku, kupotasa mifuko kwa sababu ya njaa. So hiyo ni kitu moja ambayo tunawana imetusaidia katika mambo hii ya mobile bombers. Kitu nyingine tunawana ngombe ile tunaita grazing plan. Hapa tunakuanga tuna, tuna na grazing plan. 